All right, guys. What's up? This is Carlos. So, I'm here. Uh, I'm here with my boy, old man Chris, <laughs> and uh, he's my neighbor. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna make a video on uh, the shader of the work I've been doing on this Mario game. Uh, so I was able to actually write the node shader, uh, kind of like the way I had it in the node setup, into a, you know, you know, into a, a custom o a OpenGL shader, you know on the object material so I'm not using the node system or nothing like that it's straight up uh, shaders so I was able to get the shadow in uh, like I said in that last the last update uh, I had used some tricks with the camera to get the shadow projected on here I still need to clamp the texture because the texture actually seems it spills over sometimes you'll see the shadow somewhere else on the map but and also you're gonna notice those little blue dots I don't know if your screen resolution can see them on the grass uh, that's kinda how I'm doing the shader I look, look, if you look at the shader it has that no the normal node setup kinda the way it used to look where uh, everything shines on its edges uh, right here you're gonna notice a seam uh, that's because now I'm also using in the shader if I stay still and I, I have it real exaggerated so y'all can notice what's going on because uh, the point to where I want to have it, it's, I'll show you in a little bit. It's, it's so subtle, it's crazy. But uh, let me go to a nice little spot right here. There's no seams, no nothing. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to stay still for it. You notice the there's four samples. I'm probably going to take it down to three, maybe even two. Two more samples on top of the the normal color map. So basically what I did was I made a shader that gets and I tweaked out the the color map of the blue channel inside this image. So uh you tweak out the blue color channel. I added a few more specks of blue. Uh that's why you see blue dots in the green. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in the alpha channel and uh, I'm going to so that that way you don't see those blue dots and I was thinking I was going to use the alpha channel for the ambient occlusion at like a I don't know uh yeah anyway that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna take those blue dots out it'll 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 be correct I'll get the normal the normal image like it was and uh I'll just put it put it in put what I have now inside the alpha channel and then use that to do the grass a little it's kind of like a little vector field it's using a normal map that's flowing over the samples uh, make uh, skewing their their UV map, uh, their UV representation, their pixel position. So it offsets them according to the RGB color, the vac the vector values of the the RGB. I use the I think I'm using the the R and the G values to to skew the the grass with the normal map just scroll the normal maps just scrolling over what I would like to do is do like a wind pattern like maybe uh, animate an object that kinda like uh, use an object to to represent like how the normal map moves and that object can be like you know something in the wind that way like if you have particles that can move in the direction that the flow of the I don't know you can get a lot more with it but I'm afraid of the overhead but also, uh, I, I would like to post this and have y'all see it, but, uh, you know, y'all would be complaining and saying, well, Mario doesn't do this, he doesn't do that. <laughs> and uh, that would kind of get my, maybe get to me a little bit. But uh, <laughs> I'm just showing y'all. But, do, hey, don't worry, though. Don't worry. This is for you guys anyway. So, you know, like, y'all are going to get to play it soon. But it's going to ask me perfect for y'all because... Um, I want to blow you all away, plain and simple. But uh, so here's a little bit of that feeling. Hopefully, literally, it looks like it's you know blowing wind. There's another seam right there. That's because of the normal map. I might be able to fix it somehow. And I still am lazy about Mario's animations. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I'm being so lazy about it. Like God dang, and giving him the dive. I'm gonna work on that soon. I just want to get everything done. Like. You know, like get the shadow, like it works. Uh, the grass looks cool. I got the node in the shader. It's all good. So like, now it's moved forward time because it's starting to look good. 
And it needs to, I, I think I need an AO thing. Oh, wow. I didn't know he was going to step on that. So, yeah. Um, I need to make this not planet. And I need to fix him because he's, he's, I have him sunk in because uh, I kind of wanted to see the grass. Test things out. See, he's sunk, sunk in. The character's a little bit low in the bounding box. And the reason he does this is because anything with the planet property is planet gravity. So he can like literally fall off this and fall off the map if you don't touch ground. Uh, that, that 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 concerns me with this new thing that I need to invent or make is uh, say you do fall off the map. I think I need to make like a little node of empty kind of setup where there's little satellites around the planet and do like a nearest to sensor when he when he's way off gravity and is about to glitch out that thing orients him back to normal and then you fall back to the planet no problem problem solved so uh, and I think that's what they do in the Mario Galaxy series and I still need to make a uh, collision mesh uh, that way he's not doing this but that's still no problem and you can run in here too and fall and uh, it's just kind of neat the kind of stuff you can do in, with this gravity system though it's I mean hey don't knock it till you try it it's cool and also the grass uh, yeah someone said it's not Mario like but I don't know I kind of want to add my thing and uh, oh well, you know what just to show you all that too might as well one more thing one more thing so hold on here we go um, I'm going to go to my downloads I have a file Mario in the grass but I really I mean Mario in the grass uh oh you saw something I was hoping y'all wouldn't see that ba bomb why can't I ever find what I'm looking for Play Moon, somebody's game. Uh, I want to pause it, but I think I'll find it. I know where it is. I know where it is. I know where it is. Sad. I'm too sorry. Yeah, the yeah, that's good, Chris. Yeah. Orange, yeah, that's good. Alright, this is what I wish I could do. Unfortunately, McGurry says uh, geometry shaders aren't possible inside the Blender game engine. And this is being done strictly vertex shader. If I could somehow access that and, you know, you give me something to work with, I think I could do it. Um, I just never messed with one. But uh, it should be the same kind of math. I mean, if I could do this with a shader vertex shader I mean but Maguri was kind of unhelpful and kind of just didn't want to show me anything so I just stayed like that maybe he's right he's I mean I've always thought he was very intelligent when it came to stuff like this so took his word for it but if anybody knows different uh, and sees this as anything that could be potential to you know add to that shader whatever uh, let me know because this is awesome. I've never even seen this. Like, uh, why don't they make this grass in the in like the real, you know, in the professional industry? You know, um, 
I would like to see it. Uh, I have it here. It's cool. Uh, this file is out. The grass, not the Mario. On uh, Blender Artist Forum under Curves. Uh, I think under for posted by Cuervo1003, which is me. Uh, go look it up. It's a pretty neat file. But anyway, um, that's it. That's all I got to show. Um, comment if you can. And uh, stay posted. Uh, I'll be sure to be sure to keep making some stuff for y'all. Thank you.